looking at me three times now. What else do you want? To tell me something else about your past? Or the exact same replica of the Nissan? Wait, how did you get this exact same model? I found it online. Like everything, everyone does. But you don't even have a phone or a computer. Yes, I do. I've been in your pitiful reality for a month now. I've had plenty of time to buy things and plan things out. Like what? Like I bought this car to make you think that I was George. Can you let me out now? Let me think. No. Oh, come on. Why are you like this? Like what? Like you always continuously tricking us? Unlike your sweet George, I'm a man of many faces, an actor. I can act dumb, just like the first time I kidnapped you, and I can put on a pretty good Aussie accent. I don't care. And you're the opposite of Arlison. Arlison is at least patient and intelligent. You're the opposite of him. Where are you taking me? Home. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. He tricked us. He fooled us. Didn't fool me. He kidnapped Nikolai again. What are we going to do about all of this? We're going to find out where he went to. He's probably gone back to that doppelganger house. He's not that stupid to go back there again. It feels different this time. Well, wherever he's gone, we can track him on Nikolai's iPhone. Can't. He left it here. Well, I guess we're doomed then. We could call the cops. Bad idea. They don't understand any of this ultimate reality stuff. I guess we are doomed. Why here? We're going home. You just took me away from my home. Fine. I'm going home. You'll meet all the officers of this reality. Yes, Ned, Nadiab, uh, Sally, and Eilison. Eilison is dead. Well, then this meeting with the officers won't last very long then. What do you mean? Don't you remember? I told you, if Eilison is dead, I would kill you. You never said that. That's right. You were too busy running off with that idiotic brother of yours, Elias. I had a reason to run. Shut up! Get up! You just pushed me down! I don't want to hear it! How are you supposed to go home? Through you. Through me? Through you. Me and what? There was a woman, whose name shall not be mentioned, who had the ability to travel to both sides of the reflection. Another history lesson? It's not school. I'm on holidays. Just listen. Whatever keeps you stalled. She had children on both sides of the reflection, he created the bloodline of doppelgangers that continue to this day. So why me, not any of the other people? Because the mother of the mirror only allows the last born of the most recent generation to be able to unlock so the portal. So does that mean Kaylee could unlock it? Stop shutting me off. Yes, Kaylee can unlock it, so can Iliac. Why can't you unlock it? You're the last born. But I'm not part of the most recent generation. You are. Great. Just what I wanted. Now open the portal. I don't know how to. That's right. I forgot to tell you. All you have to do is put your hand up to the mirror and it'll create a ripple, which creates a portal to the other side. The portal will remain open for 24 hours in any house that a bloodline member lives in. What's in it for me? You get to live while we find out Alison's fate. That works for me. So we aren't doing anything. It looks like we aren't. This is against everything I believe in. I reckon we'll find something soon. Then we'll, we will figure out where he is. Yeah, you're right. We always do. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go to Flushing Meadows. Tell me if you find anything.
Will do. Isn't that freaky? Yeah, it is. What does it mean? I don't know. Could this be the entrance of the so-called mirror world? I think it might be. Good job, Eli. Did you just fail? Welcome to my home, Nikolai. The mirror world? See how much prettier it is than your reality? No, it looks the exact same. Follow me. Welcome back, Egrosh. How long has it been? Five, ten, fifteen minutes, maybe? A month and a half. Oh, has it really been that long? Oh dear, I must be losing track of time. Very funny. I know, right? Where's Sally? At Turbs. As usual. Yes. And there he is, the doppelganger of the deceased, Eilison. You look just like him. I get that a lot. Certainly doesn't act like him, though. I get that a lot, too. Great news, everyone. Nikolai is going to die tonight. Oh, no! Nice to know. Come with me. Yep, definitely a portal to the mirror world. Whoa, this is weird. If anything, this reality isn't better than our reality. If anything, it's worse. It's ugly. Yeah. Hopefully Nikolai is here. Hopefully. Uh-oh. What's up? That's why you're saying, oh, oh, yeah. What do we do about it? I've got a plan, okay? I pretend to be a Groge, and I'll distract Nedia. You sneak around and try and find Nikolai. Yeah, okay. Let's do it. Hey, I thought you were in the garage. Oh, yes. Me. Who did you think I was talking to? Sailor is at Turbs. Yes, of course he is. Um, I was in the garage with Nikolai and he ripped my shirt so I had to change it. Then how come I didn't see you? Oh, um, because I went outside to the, to the clothesline to get my shirt off the clothesline and came back through the laundry. Okay, well, I don't want to hold you up. I don't want a, one of those situations where you leave them alone for a bit and then they escape when you get back. Good choice. What are you looking at? Wait, 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 wait. Wait. I... I forgot. <sighs> Just hurry up and kill him. Uh, yeah, okay, but... Do we really have to kill anyone? You brought him here to kill him. It's like if you brought Brayden here, I would happily kill him. No one wants a doppelganger hanging around. It's like, that's why you must hate George. Well, he's actually not that bad of a guy. Are you sure? Because... Brayden. Oh, hi. I, uh, didn't see you there. I was almost duped. I should have known. You must be George. Oh, poop. No one's gonna rescue you this time, haha. <laughs> we'll see about that. Nobody knows where you are. Maybe they do. Perhaps you should have not told them where you came from. Shush, shush, shush. But you have a point. Sorry, but I don't have the Holy Grail. 
Shush, Brian, you're gonna get murdered? Not really. Have you seen this guy? He's more intimidating in real life than through the mirror. And that was scary enough. Well, I can be quite intimidating. Now shut up or I will kill the both of you. What are you waiting for? One of you is missing. He's not gonna show. Excuse me? He bailed on us. Or did I? I was going to ask him why he was going to kill us. So much for thanks for saving my life. Thank you, Elias, but we thought that you bowed on us. Yes, I know. I left to get some weapons to defend ourselves, but when I got back, you guys had already gone to the portal. I grabbed the sword from the garage. Why a sword? Just in case. Brain can have the sword. Oh, gee, great. That'll provide much use to me. Thanks again, Elias. Let's end this. Let's do it. How do you know he's in the garage? Neddy up. Oh, gotcha. <coughs> you guys really like to spoil the fun. Two to go! Uh oh. It's now or never. Ah! Ah! I hate you, devil gangers! Ah! And we hate you too! Ah! Looks like you're gonna die first! Or maybe you! Ah! Ah! You think uh, this <coughs> is going to stop me? Actually, I do. I'll find a way to stop you. My name is The Grove. Did we win? Yes, we did. Ah, nice. Oh. Farewell, my fellow opposite. He was gonna kill me, you know. We know. We're glad we got there in time. I don't think we have to worry about Nico anymore. Of course not. You killed him, right, Brad? Well, I had to do what was necessary. He was going to kill me. I'm glad you did. Because God knows what would have happened. Oh, Brad. Are you all ready? So good to be home. Now what? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I like the sound of that. Sounds good. Yeah. The adventure continues. It certainly does.
You may have won the battle, but you aren't going to win the war. I will have my revenge, Brayden. And I won't just stop at you. I will kill everyone you love. Someone there behind the closet door. I shut my eyes, don't want to think about it anymore. It's about time. Whoa. Tomorrow's gonna be another day.